The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Greetings. Greetings. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. 
When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. That we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon.
Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all! Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. It is the least I could do. If the worst comes to pass, child, take comfort in knowing that the Maker's will takes many forms. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. everyone preparing to ride south. It will be so empty. We'll be up very late tonight so the Arl's men can be given proper quarters. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari Warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down.
Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Oh, encourage the hound, why don't you? No wonder he keeps giving Nan fits. He does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, do you hear that? like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> I've seen larger. They come up from the Kakari wilds sometimes. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about.
And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. All evidence to the contrary. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me, but it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? You are here. Trust me, you'll get your chance for excitement soon enough. For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Don't worry, my dear. It won't be long. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? You've grown up so fast. And now Bryce is leaving you in charge of the castle. I suppose there's no point in dwelling on it. Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. Good evening, my lord. As you wish. This should be easy enough. Right.
Oh, my lord, we were just, uh... Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. I don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. The Tern, and perhaps the Tanner? I honestly don't know, my lord. My lord is very kind to show us such lenience. Good evening, my lord. He's a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. <coughs> Greetings once again, my lord. Farewell, my lord. Good luck on managing this castle in the coming months. I imagine it shall be very difficult. Greetings once again, my lord. My family has been in service to hers for many years. Lady Landra elevated my place as a reward for our loyalty. I hope this position might pass to my daughter. Forgive me, I shouldn't have mentioned her. Her name is Amethine. Her father died of a wasting sickness two years ago. Thank you. He is with the Maker now. Farewell, my lord. Good luck on managing this castle in the coming months. I imagine it shall be very difficult. Hello again. Your castle study is wonderful. Might I ask whose collection this is? So would I. Do you have a favorite book? Good choice! Timius's theory on the nature of dragons and how they connect to Darkspawn is quite intriguing. Of course, my lord. I am sure you have much to do yet. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans? The very family in whose castle you live? Show some respect. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Wonderful. Oh, the Coastland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man.
If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tournier of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. Kalanad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanad's army reached Hyever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanad won. The records are vague. But the Kuslans became Tierns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty. Making him their turn. The history between the Kuslans and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During the rebellion against Orle, several battles were fought near Hyever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orlay? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan fight the darkspawn. Oh, thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we... Silence. Perhaps... 